Well, last weekend we were first and second. Uh, this weekend we've got a, and we've got another row lockout, but it's not first and second. It's nineteenth and twentieth. So any any chance of winning this race is just gone, unfortunately. Hello, welcome to Season 1, Episode 16 of Race to the Top. I'm Ian. This is the final episode, really, of of the the calendar season as we know it. We will have another episode, obviously, for the off-season, which will complete out Season 1. But as you can see, um, those those white umbrellas right at the back there, that's us. That's how far back we are from the grid, because we completely stuffed up our qualifying session. The rain just got heavier and heavier, which is really, really sad. Um, We have got race trim, though, which is quite... Uh, beneficial. So what I'm thinking of doing is, because there's no rain to start, um, I'm going to be putting us on to uh, the medium compound tyres. Um, I just sort of figure, let's try and go as long as we can and, and pray for rain. That's all we can do. We've just got to pray for rain. Um, full fuel, of course. And we will do the same for Julian Falcaro, if we can eventually get there. And, yep, I'm happy with that. And, of course, driver strategy. Let's go, go, go. As hard as we can. Um... Really, that's so. My strategy then is we're going to start on the mediums, and hopefully no one else comes out with the same idea. But we're going to start on the mediums and try and just go as long as we can. It is basically it is a one stopper because um, I I didn't actually explain that, but as you may have just seen briefly, uh, the mediums they can last 43 laps and it's a 56 lap race, so we could get these for a good 38, 39 laps, and then we can jump onto the softs right at the death and who knows we might might be able to squeeze them in a point or two. But if the rain comes down. We're in a prime position for a good one stopper goes straight onto the intermediates. Whether that happens or not, who knows. But we will be seeing quite a few cars starting on the softs, most likely. Um, but let's get on to the grid for today's race. So Sato is on pole with Dara Vala next to him, surprisingly. Joel Erickson, who's second in the championship, he sits in third. Harrison Newey next to him. On the third row, Pedro Piquet with Jan Mardra. Everyone's starting on the soft tyres. Sasha Hara in seventh with Alexander Sims next to him in eighth. Then you got Maximilian Gunther, who did very well in practice, but not so well in qualifying on the fifth row with Makino sitting side by side with him. Mick Schumacher in 11th, Mikkel Jensen in 12th. This is the big one, though. The drivers' champion Ryan Tavetta in thirteenth place, and Daniel Tickton in fourteenth. Keep an eye out on them because they're the people that we're uh, we're challenging for the title. Then you got Lando Norris, Alex Palau behind them, Ralph Aaron in seventeenth, Rail Hyman for T Sport in eighteenth. Would you believe? And there we are, there nineteenth and twentieth. Terrible, absolutely terrible. I mean, you know, you can't predict the weather really because we don't have a weather predicting uh, centre. But you know, it would have. It could have benefited us so much. If we were higher up the grid, we were in prime position. But instead, we're starting 19th and 20th. But it looks like, and I didn't pay too much attention, that we are the only people starting on the medium tyres. So this could be interesting, because if we can go deep in this race, if there's no rain, then we've got a real possibility that we could we could get something here. But let's get on to today's race then. So we're going to spin this around and go nice and close. Because that's who we're focusing on. We're focusing on Mawson and Falcaro at the back of the grid. Mawson had a poor getaway. So Falcaro has overtaken him already. And Falcaro is right behind Hyman. Sato looks like he's holding out in first place. Nui's moved up into second. And who's that that's run wide? Someone has run wide and gone right to the back. That's Maximilian Gunther has run wide as everyone's moving around. Tavetta's climbed up to ninth place with that move. And we are sitting right at the back now. Now, still 18th and 19th, but only, only because Maximilian Gunther ran wide in, what's that, turn three, I believe it was, and his race could be really well and truly done as everyone's moving around, but Falcaro just can't seem to get past Aaron at the moment, which has allowed Gunther to catch right up. We are on the slower tyres, remember, so I'm not too concerned if we um, lose places or, or fall behind the pack, because we're on the slower tyres. We're the only two on medium tyres. Either this is going to be an amazing tactical decision by me, or it's been a complete disaster already and I just I just don't know it yet um, but as you can see Joey Mawson's looking to come back at Falcaro he's got the more powerful engine and on that straight I kind of expect him to and he's just he's fighting side by side with him here but there's still lots of shuffling around in front of us as Mick Schumacher which is Gunther's teammate he's dropped down to 14th Palau's down to 16th now where's Tavetta? Tavetta's just in the points now he's picking up a point and his teammate Tickton is in 12th they're not doing anything just yet as Falcaro's managed to climb in front of Aaron, but we are going to back off these cars a little bit because we don't want them to uh, start uh, losing uh, too much in tyre wear just yet because we want to 
extend this stint as long as we can. But we are up to 17th and 18th. So Joey Mawson's climbed in front of Valcaro. He's got the inside line over Palau, and he moves up into 16th place. Valcaro's dropping away. He's down into 19th. But Mawson's still really pushing hard. He's got Norris in front of him, but he's got Palau and Gunther right behind him. What can he do as Valcaro's dropped to 20th place now? He's really struggling. Mawson's got that inside line. He has a quick look at Norris, but he doesn't quite have enough. And he's on the outside, so he almost has to yield, really. And he drops back to 16th, but he's battling hard. I really like his, his effort that he's putting in at the moment. But everyone seems to have sort of found their, their spots now. It does, everyone seems to be in a bit of a line, and we can start slowing down. As there you go, Mawson's just fallen back behind Gunther. But again, soft tyres. I'm kind of expecting that. And Mawson's still, still pushing with Palau, and he's getting onto the team radio. He's not too happy about that. So let's start speeding things up a little bit now. But I can I can be quite comfortable with 18th and 19th. As long as we sort of stay with the pack, we, we're sort of within touching distance of Ticktum. If the rain does come, we're in a great, great position. But at the moment, it's sort of just hold position at the moment. It doesn't look, look like there's any rain coming for quite some time. So that's still benefiting us. Now, as long as there's no um, safety car, which will you know, really, really hurt us, I think we could... could if, if the rain comes down, we're going to really benefit. But that, that's, that's hoping the rain comes down. As Falcaro and Aaron at the back are really, really fighting, Aaron manages to squeeze in front of Falcaro. Again, he's on the soft tyres, so I kind of expect that. I'm not expecting this to climb up the field. So... Really, for 18th and 20th, I'm quite happy with that because it looks like we're keeping up with the rest of the pack. Um, and as long as this rain comes down around, say, lap 30, um, that's when every other team is going to have to pit um, because they're on the soft tyres. Their tyres will be worn. So that means that they'll have to pit, and then if the rain comes down in lap 30, they have to pit again, where we will only have to pit once. As Mawson's made a great move up on the inside of Palau. He finally managed to get past him. But Falcaro is still languishing down there in 20th place at the moment. Um... I'm quite, I'm quite happy. The softs are already burning through quite quickly for Palau and Aaron, as you can see. In fact, everyone's about a quarter of the way through except for us. So this could start to come back to us a little bit, as long as we don't get too held up by the cars in front. Because as you can see, at the moment, Mawson's got a bit of a, a, a deficit to 16th place, which is Schumacher. He's about a second behind, but he has just taken a big chunk out of him. Um, so as long as we hold, as long as we can stay competitive with everyone in front of us, I'm happy because, as I say, if this rain comes down, if, if this rain comes down, then we're going to be in a really good position to benefit from just doing a one-stopper. Everyone else might have to stop twice. Um, but with a 40% chance of rain, there was a 40% chance of rain, remember, in, uh, in Belgium, and that never eventuated, and that hurt us. So this game likes to screw me over, I think. But... As you can see, Mawson's really, really pushing with uh, with Schumacher there, and I'm just being mindful of the uh, the tyre wear position, uh, tyre wear um, for the cars in front. As you can see, Gunther is really burning through his tyre, so Gunther's going to have to pit soon as he's battling away with his teammate in front of Mawson. You can just see him there, and I think we're in a pretty good position coming up to when these guys are going to have to stop. As you can see, Mawson's managed to get back in front of Schumacher now, which is fantastic for him. Valcaro's really really pushing with Aaron he's only three tenths behind him you can just see him in the top of the screen there but Mawson's doing very very well 16th and he's on medium tyres so that shows how much that engine has made a difference because Falcaro just can't seem to get past anyone whereas Mawson's doing quite well and we've also we backed off on our fuel really really early um, in the hopes that if the race comes to us we're going to have fuel to burn everyone else might not that's the theory anyway but again it all hinges on what happens with the weather um, which at the moment there's still no rain forecast so you know we might not be scoring any points at the moment which again if we look at the championship look is only likely to score two points but that's obviously that's all they, they're happy with that. as long as we don't score nine more than them they're happy they've got the championship sewn up and those two points are Tibet are in ninth place Tictum's been really struggling there you go Tibet's just overtaken Makino up into eighth place now so that's four points for them so we've got an even bigger mountain to climb let's have a quick flick down and have a look at Tibet who has got past Makino quite comfortably there he's got a fantastic car to better and he's got a bit of space in front of him before he catches up to Sashahara who's horrendously out of position really but there you go, Falcaro's getting on, he's getting upset, he's stuck behind Palau, and Mawson's not too happy either, he seems to be a bit disappointed, but this race can still come to us, because look, everyone's going to have to pit, we're going to have to pit as well, but we may be able to just hold on, 
it could really, really work for us. Is let's cut back to Mawson because Mawson's coming up to a big pack of cars that is, looks like it might be slowing him down just a touch. Maybe we could burn a bit of fuel. Who knows? But I'm mindful of these cars in front because they might be holding Mawson up a little bit. Because we're still pretty pacey. We might not be as quick as, as the Mooka Motorsports or even the Prima Power teams. But we are not the worst car on this grid. So there's a few cars in front of us that I think might might be uh, holding Mawson up a touch. Um, but as you can see, because who's that? Because Norris and Gunther are really battling away. And there you go. There's a bit, bit of a train of cars now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump Mawson up into overtake mode. Let's see if he can get past Norris. Norris is the one that seems to be holding us up a touch. And we're keeping an eye on that rain. Any rain coming? Not yet. This is really, really, really frustrating for us. We, we want the rain in around lap 30 is when we want it because, as you can see, the, top, the temperature uh, is actually dropping a little bit. So there is a chance that we could be getting rain in around lap 30. And it, is that rain? I, I think that may be rain. And it looks like it's rain. At lap 28, you could just see a little bit of water on track. You could just see the bar there. You might not be able to see it that well in case I didn't render the video particularly well, but you can just see it. We're up into 15th place now. Let's back off Mawson a little bit. Now, what do we do? We will have to pit for the intermediates around then. That's promising. Everyone else is going to be getting that information as well now. Are they going to be able to go the distance on these soft tires or not? That's a concern. As Falcaro is dropping off, he's a second behind Aaron now. Um, Falcaro's race is really, really struggling. But Mawson is really pushing hard. He's fighting off who's that Schumacher behind him. He's got Gunther in front of him. Between them, he's sandwiched between the two Prima, Tower, Prima Power Team cars. He's got that inside line. He's going to be on the outside, though, for this sweeping right-hander. But he can't have a look at getting in front of Gunther just yet. He's, again, he's on the outside. He tries to get on the inside, and he does. And he climbs up into 14th as Gunther's slipping behind because he's tires are terribly worn and we're on lap 14 remember and it looks like the rain's coming down around lap 26 so remember the softs will last let's quickly have a look the softs are estimated to last 26 laps so these other teams they're going to either have to back off massively on their soft tires to make them last so they can jump onto these intermediates or they're going to have to pit twice. This race is going to come to us. I guarantee it this race will come to us. At the moment, there's only a little bit of rain forecast. So I don't want to get too excited. Let's temper our expectations a tiny bit. But if that rain persists, we are in great position. As Mawson's making light work of everyone because everyone's having to back off. Mawson doesn't have to. He can go that whole time before he has to pit onto the intermediate. So I say let's keep pushing. Keep pushing, guys. Falcaro's moving up into 19th. He's having a look at Schumacher. Falcaro's up to 18th now, and he's been right behind Schumacher. Schumacher and Gunther are backing off massively because of this rain coming down. Mawson, meanwhile, if he can get in front of Makino, there's a bit of a gap that he can see. But we aren't too... We don't want to be pushing him too hard just yet because I don't know how long this rain's going to last for. We are going to have to look at pitting, but let's keep an eye on everyone else. Tavetta's the one we're keeping an eye on. He's moved up into 5th place now they, it's, they look to gain 11 points at the moment so the championship is theirs to lose but the race isn't over yet keep an eye on Tavetto if he has to pit if he can't last the race then or last this uh, this stint then we could really really benefit from here as Mawson's getting on he's getting upset being stuck behind Gunther who managed to overtake him but it looks like Gunther's going a bit gung-ho because he's going to have he's going to be the first to pit I think Gunther's going to be the first it doesn't seem to be, and maybe Jensen. Jensen in 11th place is going to have to pit soon as well. If I was running on the soft, I would be looking at pitting now. But it looks like a lot of them are going to be able to go the length. It, I'm, I'm, there's going to be some like PK in 12th, for instance. He might be able to stretch out those softs. Tavetta as well. Tavetta's another one who may be able to go. But if we get both our guys up there behind Tavetta, we might still just be able to do this. Or hinging on Tickton, who's struggling a little bit with his tyre wear. So Mawson, Mawson now. Mawson's moved ahead of Makino. Makino's backing right off, but he's come back. And there's a couple of cars in front of Mawson. Mawson has another look, gets in front. He's had a really, really close fight with Gunther, but he can't get past him. Falcaro's moved up to 17th now. We can really, really start to look at where we're going to be coming out when this rain comes down. The rain is definitely coming down. Everyone's going to have to go on to the intermediate tyres. 
We are in a great position. Look at all these people. They're struggling on their tyres now. Sasha Hara particularly is going to have to look at pitting. Jensen's going to have to look at pitting. Gunther is really backing off, but he's holding us up, unfortunately. But he's going to have to look at pitting as well. As Falcaro there, he's battling away with Schumacher. He might be trying to climb up into 16th place. As cars are peeling away into the pits, as Sasha Hara, Nui, and Jensen all have to pit, we're up into 11th. We're still behind the eight ball on the points but teams are going to have to they cannot go the next what's what how many laps is that five or six laps and there's confirmation gunther is pitting schumacher is pitting makino is pitting or is no is schumacher pitting or is he not let's have a quick look schumacher is not pitting makino is though and so is gunther so that puts us in a great position we're going to have to back off our tires just a little bit we want to conserve them we don't want to be pushing too hard now as we move up into 6th and 7th, and we've got nice, clean air in front of us. Tevetta hasn't pitted yet, but they're going to possibly be able to stretch out this stint before this rain comes down, which is a bit of a shame for us, because where is Tictum though? Now, Tictum has pitted, so Tictum's out of the points at the moment, and we stand to gain 12, look, we stand to gain 15. That's not good enough for us, as PK has just got confirmation that he is going into the pits. Keep an eye on the minimap. Let's see. Ericsson doesn't. Sims does. Tictum stays out. Hyman has gone in. So Ericsson and Tavetta now lead. And we jump up into third and sixth. What has happened to Falcaro? I don't know what's happened to Falcaro. He must have had an issue because he was right behind Mawson at some point. That's really, really sad. But Mawson's 11.9 seconds behind Tavetta now. And... Is Tavetta going to pit? Let's quickly cut over to him. And he is. He's confirmed that he is pitting. That is a disaster for us. They cannot go those last few laps. And we can. Mawson's going to be coming out in first place. There he goes. There's Tavetta there. There goes Ericsson as well in the pits. Mawson is now leading this race. Falcaro is up to fourth. And when we see Tavetta out of the uh, pit lane, let's have a look. We stand to win the championship. What a gamble. What a gamble. So we are now first and fourth. Falcaro's not doing too badly either. We've just got to mind the tyre wear a little bit, particularly on Falcaro's car. He's down to 30%. Mawson, I'm quite happy with him. He, he, he won't be uh, losing too much time because he's got 36%. And we are doing fantastic. Aaron is going to try and make the, uh, the soft last by the looks of things, or has he dived in? No, he's just gone in now. So we didn't. We did not need to pick. And we have come out as the, the big winners, surely the big winners, because we are now first and fourth. The rain's going to be coming down any minute now. We can dive in, put on the intermediate tyres, and we can dominate. Let's really go into push mode now. Let's try and build up a bit of a lead from Daravala and Sato for Mawson. First place is big. As the rain's coming down, I'm going to pit right now. Do I? No. No one else is pitting. Tavetta in fifth, he's staying out as well. So I don't need to do anything yet, as I've just been editing the screen there, because I'm clicking the button. I do apologise about that. But we're first and fourth. We're going to have to pit now. So let's really start pushing and pushing. And we'll put Mawson onto the intermediate tyres right now. As the rain looks like it's going to stay for quite some time, have a look at our park condition. Happy across the board there. Everything's looking really good. Even our engine's looking very, very good. And we can go into the fast pit stop. Now, Falcaro is 6.9 seconds behind. So we can keep... We can actually pit Falcaro at the same time. Because there's not going to be any double stacking going on. There he is there. He's a long way behind. As Mawson has got a 2.8 second lead over Daravala. Sato is 5 seconds behind. Falcaro is 2.1 seconds behind Sato. Here comes the first lot of pit stops then. Is it a good stop? It's a great stop from Mawson. What about Falcaro? Another good stop. Mistake free from both. That is crucial for us. And we're going to start being a little bit mindful of what we're doing with our tyres now because these intermediates will last the rest of the race but it all hinges on what happens with the rain. So we've come out in third place and we're 13 seconds behind but look at us, we are going to be really hoping to close that gap to Devetto who's staying out on the softs um, they're going to have to pit soon because there's a bit of water on track. Tevetta and Hyman, they're the two big ones that we're going to be a bit mindful of as Falcaro is having a little bit of a complaint there because he's fallen further behind as Tavetta and Hyman have dived into the pits there we go we go flying past Tavetta as Tavetta's fallen down to third he's come out fifth 
right behind Falcaro. We are first and fourth. Tevedo is fifth. And as things stand, we are going to win this championship. We just have to manage our fuel now. We have to manage our tyres to the end of the race, assuming that the rain doesn't go away. We don't have to pit again. But... This is Motorsport Manager. You know the rain's going to go away. You know we're going to have to pit for soft tyres. But thankfully, and I'll quickly show you, we've got fresh soft tyres for both our drivers. We should be doing okay. Let's keep an eye on the fuel for Mawson. I want him to have a little bit left over in reserve. Same with Falcaro, actually. We want Falcaro, who's got a 1.7 second lead over Tavetta. Let's keep an eye on him, because there's Tavetta behind. He's the big challenger. As long as Tavetta doesn't get in that top three, we're quite... We're in a good position. So Falcaro really has to hold off here. If Falcaro can hold off Tavetta, we are laughing. But Daravala is 2.1 seconds behind Mawson. He's building up a bit of a lead over Sato. So Sato is starting to fall away a little bit. He's in a much slower car, remember. But Mawson's leading this race at the moment. I am thrilled to bits with that. And we stand to really benefit. So we're going to back Falcaro off on the fuel. Let's keep him... In the positive, as Tavetta really closing in now. We might not be able to do so. We're going to have to put him back up onto the high fuel load just to fight off Tavetta for as long as possible. Because the longer we hold off Tavetta from overtaking us, the better. Because it looks like Sato's losing a bit of time. And if Tavetta manages to overtake Falcaro, it'll only be a matter of time before he gets in front of Sato as well. But for those of you who are just joining us, who are skipping through the race because they don't want to listen to me waffling on for 40 minutes, we stand to win the race at the moment. And on top of winning the race, we're going to win the championship. Joey Mawson will possibly hold on to second, but this is the battle that we are really focusing on. Falcaro and Tavetta. This is what the TV screens will be focusing on, folks, because Tavetta needs to get in front of Falcaro because he needs to chase down Mawson. But he's sitting 10 seconds behind Mawson. I don't think that's doable. We're battling bravely. I don't think Falcaro can hold on as well as Mawson can uh, in these situations because he doesn't have as powerful an engine, remember, because Mawson's got the better engine. But this is huge for us. As Falcaro started to pull a little bit away from Tavetta, but Tavetta might be easing up just a touch. As you can see, we've got slightly more uh, fuel burn than Tavetta at the moment. But Tavetta is closing down, closing down. That first sector is really, really tough for us. As Falcaro, though, he tends to do quite well in that third sector. He can sort of pull away a little bit. Here you go now. Look at that second sector. That big, long, sweeping right-hander. He really pulls away from him. And we are starting to build up that bit of a gap again. But we're going to have to back Falcaro off. Because I don't want that fuel to get too into the red. Otherwise, towards the end of the race, we're going to have to really conserve our fuel. And I certainly can't afford to have any... Um, cars running out of fuel like we did in Doha in this race. This race is huge. But Mawson's maintaining that two and a half second lead. Um, we have started to fall well away actually, but we are holding Tavetta up. That's the important thing. We're dropping off from Sato now. This is great for us. If Tavetta gets in front of Falcaro, it's a couple of points, but it won't affect the championship too much. As there goes Tavetta now, Tavetta side by side with Falcaro, and he makes light work of it really, and he's going to start hunting down Sato now, because he needs to get in there. As let's have a look then, so the situation is, we are 15 points clear at the champion, at the top of the championship, so as long as Falcaro doesn't drop too many places, as long as Mawson maintains first place, this is our race to lose. I am thrilled to bits with that, as let's start looking at pushing our Fakero, where are we? Let's start pushing because we're losing a little bit of tyre temperature. And we can start maintaining... So as long as Mawson... We can get, let's cut back to Mawson because we want him to start building a lead over Daravala now, which it looks like he's doing a little bit. 2.7 seconds. And we've got Falcaro. He's got Ericsson behind him, but he's not a concern. We're not battling away with Ericsson. We're worrying about Tavetta, who is closing down on Sato quite quickly. This is huge for us. That's how that's how quick Mooka Motorsport are, because they're closing down very, very quickly. But we are still 15 points clear in this championship, and we stand to win the thing. Would you believe that? I mean, I sort of... What do I do? If we win this championship, do I stay with Quirinan or do I go to another team? I honestly just do not have a clue what I do in that situation. We've got 22 laps to go then, and it looks like the rain is going to ease up. Around lap 42, the rain is going to stop, and then a little bit after that, or maybe it comes back. It looks like the rain stops, but it looks like there's still a lot of water on track, and then it starts to pick up again. So maybe the rain will come back towards the end of the race, as Falcaro has fallen behind Ericsson, and he's now battling with Sims. He's losing a lot of... 
the uh, positions and we are starting to get quite close to Muka Motorsport. This is a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? Because Falcaro is just not performing the way I wanted him to. Mawson's built a three-second lead over Daravala. Tavet is still 10.6 seconds behind Mawson, though. That is the crucial one. Um, and Falcaro is really, really losing a lot of pace now, as Sims might be even able to have another look. And if we could drop another place... That's a disaster. We will still be winning the championship, but the more places we lose, the tighter and tighter it gets. And then it only takes Mawson having one stuff up. And, you know, it, it could be season over for us right at the death. But at the moment, Mawson's doing very well. Falcaro is not doing too badly, I must admit. And we are most likely going to be able to go the rest of the race here. We've got, what's that, 19 laps to go. 20 laps. 20 laps to go. And we... Should be able to stay on these um, intermediates. As you can see, we're burning through the tyres a little bit slower than everyone else, but we're all pretty much the same in terms of tyre wear. So it looks like everyone's going to be going to the end of the race, most likely. We're both at 69%, as Falcari just drops to 68% tyre wear. As Falcari really struggles with his tyre wear uh, quite substantially. As you look, remember when we were on the mediums and we pitted to the intermediates, that was, that was huge for us because Falcaro was very, very clean. He was down to like 30% when Mawson was up to sort of like 36, 37%. So I'm worried about Falcaro because I want him to be able to go the rest of the race as he's battling bravely against uh, Sims, trying to hold off on sixth place. We'll just bump his uh, his fuel burn up a bit just to build a bit of a gap over, over Sims. We don't want Sims to get too close because he's only 7 tenths down at the moment. He's back to a second away. That's what we want. We don't want him to get close at all. As Tavetta, what about Tavetta? Where is he sitting? Tavetta is 1.8 seconds behind Sato. He's still just sitting in fourth place, but he's going to have another uh, really, really tight battle coming up because there he is there. You can just see um, Sato going off in the distance there. And Tavetta's got 63% tire wear, which is basically where we're at. 63%, 64%. So Tavetta's got some very similar tire wear to us. Um, let's back off our Caro's built a second lead over Sims. That's what we want. Mawson's still 3.2 seconds. What we're going to do is we're going to lower his driving style. Actually, we'll lower both driving styles. Um, and we're going to up Mawson's fuel burn. Because he's got a 3.5 second lead over Daravala now. And he can sort of actually coast a little bit. As a, the rain is coming back. The rain is definitely coming back. It stops briefly, as you can see there, just after lap 42, the rain does stop, but there's still water on track, and then it starts raining again, and the water comes right back. So, there's no point in pitting. We're going to stay to the end. As Mawson has confirmation that Mawson has fallen behind Sims now. He's in 7th place, and we are now only going to be picking up 31 points. We're still going to win this championship, but I don't like the way Falcaro is falling. And he's not been impressing me this race weekend. I will be brutally honest with you. And I think if I had to you know, get rid of one of these drivers, it would be Falcaro, unfortunately. Um, he started off the season fantastically well. But since then, he's sort of been really going backwards, isn't he? Um, let's go back up into pushing a little bit. But Mawson, meanwhile, has been doing fantastically well. He started the season very, very slowly, and since then has done fantastically well. Jan Mardenra has run wide as he's dropped a couple of places now. He's fallen down into 15th place, but he's, his race is basically over, and he's about to be overtaken again, and he does by Schumacher. Makino's also having a look at him. But let's cut back to Falcaro. Yeah, so look, Mawson started off the season very slowly and has really, really impressed me lately. Yes, this race, you do have to argue that he has got a fantastic engine compared to Falcaro as uh, Makino's now run wide as well because they're all just pushing so hard and we don't want to do that. We certainly don't want Mawson to start running wide because the rain stopped now. You can see there is no rain on track. Um, but there is still standing water. But look at that final little bit. Look how high the, the water on track is going to be. It's going to get, get really, really heavy. Now, this is the big one. Do we pit onto wets or not? Because with the water that high up, there's a real... It's that sort of fine line of do we stay on intermediates or do we uh, go onto the wets. What we're going to do... We are just going to be watching what Tavetta does. The moment Tavetta goes in for wets, we go in for wets. And we just try and hold him off. But at the same time, I don't think if it... Depending on how many laps there are left, there might not be any point to doing it. Because, you know, we could be just... You know, the time that he loses in the pit, he might, might, might not be able to catch up on the wet tyres if we just stay out on the intermediate. So I think we might have to just do that. 
and just survive. As Mawson's still got a two and a half second lead, I've just upped their engine modes just a fraction, just to keep them uh, fighting, because it looks like uh, Aaron's actually closing in on Falcaro, but look at how much uh, tire wear Aaron's got. So he's going to be starting to struggle right towards the end of the race. There's 12 laps to go as Mawson's about to cross the line now. There he is there, so there is 12 laps to go from now. Um, let's keep an eye on that tire wear again. We don't want that to get too low. We don't want any potential draining on the tyres. So Falcaro's just set the fastest lap for himself, the personal best lap, uh, with a 132.8. So even though the, the good thing is, is we don't want it to get too close because if Tevetta sets the fastest lap, he gets two bonus points, remember, um, that won't make a difference to the championship. But we don't want it to get that close where a fastest lap could be the difference. As Joey Mawson's now set the best, his best personal second sector. So that's looking really, really promising. Let's back off the engine modes just a touch. And I think I've done that quite well. That was pure fluke, by the way. But I'm bumping, bumping the... Uh, and there you go, Fakera's going to set another personal best lap for 132.5 this time. By actually um, bumping up their uh, engine mode when there's a bit less water on track has actually worked out quite well. Falcaro though is still clinging on. He's fallen well away from Sims but he's built up a bit of a lead. 2.6 seconds now over Aaron. Aaron's going to really have to start backing off quite, which is fortunately uh, for fortunate for us I should say. I'm stumbling over my words. I'm so excited that we might be winning the championship. Um, Daraval is still 3.3 seconds as the rain has started to come back down now. So now Keep an eye on all these cars because some people might gamble when the rain gets heavier. Right towards the end there, look at how much water on track there's going to be. Some cars are going to start gambling and thinking, let's go onto the wet. Who knows what could happen? I don't want to have to do that. I'm going to try and stay out on the intermediates, I think. But again, if everyone's diving into the wet tyres, we might not have a choice. We might have to stay out. I mean, I think, like, say for Mawson, we might be able to put Mawson onto the wets. If everyone else goes in for wets, we could do the same for Mawson, put him onto the wets. Falcaro, we could keep him out on intermediates as a real gamble and see if he can just stay in, you know, first, second, third, wherever he comes out. I mean, he's 21, 22 seconds behind Mawson. So even if some of these cars pit for the, uh, the wets, he's not going to be able to uh, be coming first. As Tevedo has actually got past Sato, and he's three seconds ahead of him now. So where does the championship, where does that put us? Look at how tight that is looking. 156 to 148. As Tevedo is closing in hugely. He's got massively clean air there. Look at the minimap. There he is there. He's just going past that second turn there, that long sweeping right-hander. And there's Daravala in second, and he's only just behind Joey Mawson. So this is going to be a tight finish. If, if Daravala runs wide, then it's anyone's race. It really is. But Falcaro seems to be doing well. He seems to be um, securing seventh place because he's three seconds ahead of Aaron there. He's six seconds behind Sims, so he's not going to be catching up to Sims unless, you know, Sims decides to dive in for, for wet tyres or something like that. But as you can see, it is starting to pick up now. The rain is starting to come down, so we may have to pit onto the wet tyres. That's going to be interesting. So keep an eye, as I say, keep an eye. We're going to be seeing someone going in for the wets, so I'm sure of it. But at the moment, Mawson's doing very, very well. He's holding off Daraval. Tevetta is closing down quite substantially, but he's still 8.6 seconds behind Mawson, so he's not closing down as quickly as he wants to, because there's only six, seven laps to go, so he's got to be doing more than a second a lap out of Mawson, which I just don't think he's going to be able to achieve. Um, but everyone's tyre wear is starting to struggle a little bit. We've probably got the best tyre wear out of everyone. Um, people like Sato, for instance, and even Daravala, he may have to pit. He just may have to. Um, but th are they burning through a little bit more? That's going to be interesting, isn't it? They might be burning just a little bit more um, on their tyres. Thinking, hey, see, here we go. Look, who's gone in? Palau has gone in. And so, now, Palau. Palau's gambling. He's gone onto the wets. I didn't see where he was in the pit lane but, uh, when he came into the pits. But he's a long way behind. So keep an eye on him because he's 73.3 seconds behind Mawson. If he starts taking big, big chunks out of time out of Mawson's uh, lead or out of his deficit, as Daravala's diving in for the wets now as well. As quite a few people are going around onto the wets, the track is looking soaked. But now here we go. He wants to go onto the wet tyres. What is Tevetta going to do? Do we stay out or not? As Falcaro and Daravala are battling away. Now, Palau, he's, he's, not, he's not saving time, is he? He's just not shaving any time off. Quite a few people are going onto the wets, uh, but it doesn't look like I'm not going to. I am going to stay out on the intermediates. This is going to be a gamble, 
because where's Tevetta? Is Tevetta going to pit? No, see, Tevetta's staying out. Sato is staying out. So we are not going to pit Mawson. Falcaro, we're going to just keep him out. Everyone in front, uh, Sims and Ericsson, they're not pitting either. They're staying out. Daraval is staying on the wet. And doesn't look like anyone that's close to us is gambling too much. Daravala is shaving a lot of time off, but he's thrown away second place. Let's have a look at that championship. There is five points in it. I forgot to look at that. Daravala pitting from second down into sixth means that there's now only five points between us and Mooka Motorsport. And this is going to be really, really tight. Tevetta is closing down on Mawson. Daravala is moving up. Tictum, if Tictum can gain a couple of places, it could be all over for us. But at the moment, we're not doing too badly. As Sato's gone in, we've moved up into sixth place. With Sato pitting, we have moved up into fifth place. And no one else is going to be pitting. Everyone else is quite happy. We're going to be backing them off a little bit. Um, let's keep an eye on the fuel before we get too carried away. Let's, we're just going to up them a little bit. Now, I've got to be mindful because of the water on the track. It could be very easy to see someone running wide. But I don't want them to... I don't want their tyres to grain too much here. As there's two laps remaining from Mawson winning this race and us winning the championship as we move back up to a seven-point lead. Because Sato pitted for the wet, Falcaro's up to sixth. There's no one around Falcaro, so... This is his. He's got sixth place locked up. Tavetta's not pitting. Sims is definitely not pitting. Neither is Ericsson. So we've got sixth. Keep an eye on Sato. He's five and a half seconds behind Falcaro. But it doesn't look like the people that have gone onto the wet have made the right choice. Palau has taken 10 seconds out of the time. But it's just not worth it, is it? With only a lap to go now. The people that have gambled, it just hasn't paid off. They were hoping that everyone else was going to pit. But unfortunately, no one is. As the tyres are really starting to struggle now. But I don't want to push them too hard. Because I don't want these guys to uh, to come off the track. As there goes Mawson now. So Mawson's only got a 4.3 second lead over Tavetta. As you can see, Tavetta's really going for it. He doesn't want to be coming second. He wants the championship. He's cutting into Mawson's lead hugely. We're going to have to push Mawson. Because I don't want to see Tavetta overtaking Mawson right at the end there. There's 3.8 seconds to go. Uh, 3.8 seconds gap. And this is the final lap. And there we go. Mawson has come first. Tavetta's come second. Let's cut to Falcaro, who'll be coming around now. And he just holds off Sato by the slimmest of margins. Look at that difference. My goodness, that was close. He just held on to sixth place. But that means that we are the champions. If you'll believe that, Mawson with the win. I thought we still had a lap to go. That shows how much I was concentrating. Mawson comes first ahead of Tavetta for Mooka Motorsport. And with that, we win the championship. Wow. I mean, that is a fantastic, fantastic season. I mean, the, the result in Doha, I thought, we've, we've blown this. And look at what just happened. We have just done it. Alexander Sims was the man to pick up the fastest lap. But Julian Fakero's 10 points, I think that was the difference. Look, we gave... We lost. We had seven points over Ryan Tavetta, so we were still trailing by a point. Falcaro's ten points helped us massively because look, Daniel Tickton for Mooka Motorsport, he didn't score a point. That was huge for us. Taking that gamble onto the mediums at the start worked. Wow, I could not have guessed that that was going to work when everyone else started the race on softs. I thought we've stuffed up here, but the fact that we came away with a win. Oh, I'm I'm astounded by that. Mawson was where was he? Nineteenth or twentieth on the grid? I think he was nineteenth on the grid. Nineteenth to first. That'll be a race for the ages. What a fantastic result. Ryan Tavetta doesn't pick up his fourth win. We only pick up our second win of the season, but we did it when it counted. Daravala, who I think he started second on the grid, he picks up third in the end. But let's have a look at the final Drivers' Championship standings. And Ryan Tavetta ran away with it. He locked it up a long time ago. Joey Mawson comes second. You can't be too disappointed with that. And we came in in a very respectful fourth place as well through Julian Falcaro. Um, but other than that... The, some of the bigger names that I'm surprised about, Daniel Tictum only picking up six points for Mooka Motorsport. He'll be lucky to keep his position, I think, after that, because 
145 points to six. We know who the better driver is out of them. And the other one that I wanted to mention was Prima Power Team. It was of Gunther and Schumacher. They started the season off really, really well and then just fell away right at the end. But Alex Palau is the only one not to have scored any points this season, which is an amazing achievement. So there's confirmation then that we have won the team championship nine points clear of Muka Motorsport. We overturned the eight-point deficit and gave ourselves a nine-point lead. We have won the championship ahead of Mooka Motorsport. Prima Power Team came in third just ahead of Van Amersfoort and Motor Park. And then there's a quite a big gap between T-Sport, Artline, Carlin were very close, High Tech GP and Toda Racing came in dead last. Unbelievable. I am thrilled to bits with that and I hope you guys were as well because that was an amazing, amazing finish to the season. I, I'm... I don't have words to describe how good that was. I'm thrilled. I really am thrilled. Because, let's be honest, after Doha, I honestly thought that was our chance. You know, like if, if we'd have got results out of Doha, we would have been going into this race with the championship lead. It's as simple as that. Um, and the fact that we didn't was a real concern. Um, as you can see, though, Joey Mawson has got another level, got level two for his relationship uh, with Sim VTAC. He's now car condition dropped slightly slower, which is good. Joey Mawson's definitely a number one driver for next season. We will have to talk about that a little bit more because, hey, there might be some job opportunities coming up. In fact, let's go and have a quick look. I do apologize about the, the length of this episode, um, but let's have a look. So here's the Formula One season then. So Bottas won in Doha, and Lewis Hamilton ended up winning the championship, coming in second place as it looks like Vettel was right down in eighth place so that means that Mercedes unsurprisingly have won the Constructors Championship Lewis Hamilton wrapped up the Drivers Championship in Formula 2 we might see if we do stay around um, in Coyron and we may see Arden International dropping down maybe but we will have to keep an eye on that. As Arden International, they got NATO and Canamasis, um, who didn't do too badly. It will be nice, though, to have two yellow cars on the grid for something slightly different. And here's the confirmation of our result. I don't need to go over that again. So, there you go. The 2016 winner for the Formula 3 Championship is Ryan Tavetta, 22 years of age. He got four race wins, got five podiums. Fantastic result for him. But that's us. That's me just there. It doesn't look anything like me because I'm not balding. But... That's me. We just won the Formula 3 2016 Championship with Joey Mawson coming in second, Julian Falcara coming in fourth. Fantastic performance from both of them. And I don't think our owner will be too disappointed. Now, it doesn't look like there's any real job opportunities coming up for us. There's a few uneasy positions, but none in Formula 1, unfortunately. But we could jump up to Formula 2. I think we could might even... But let's go to Russian time, maybe. Maybe even uh, dams. That wouldn't be too bad, would it? we got DTM. we got a few cars there. 7th, 8th, 4th. We could even go for that one. I think, I think the next episode is going to be uh, going through the off-season and obviously maybe even changing jobs. So, we'll have to wait and see. Well, yesterday's episode, I said, don't bother putting a thumbs up because it was terrible. But for this one, please put a thumbs up because you have to be thrilled with that because I was absolutely delighted. And I'll see you in maybe a couple of days' time for the off-season and the, the start of uh, the season 2017. That's the word. I couldn't think what it was. And I'll see you in a couple of days' time. Thanks for watching, people.